Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's all stand and begin our service today. How many of you are excited to be here this morning?
have delivered me, Sister Maria. He has, though. But he's delivered me right now. I'm going to dance into my delivery. I'm going to dance into my delivery. I'm going to dance into my delivery. I'm going to dance into my delivery.
in no way is it about to stop. We're going to take up the offering, and God's going to continue to move in a mighty way. Amen. Remember, there's several different ways you can give. Sister Heidi's got it up here on the board. Givelify, PayPal, send it to our address. But give as the Lord has given them. All right. All right. And you can go ahead and get the prayer up, Sister Heidi. I feel the Lord brewing something in this place. For Larry stirring something up with envy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's say this prayer. Let's say this prayer like we mean it. It's not even all about money. I just spoke about the prodigal's return. That's in this prayer. I just spoke about people's blessings coming to pass. It's in this prayer. I just spoke about faith. It is in this prayer. The word upon the authority of your word. It's in this prayer. Amen. Let's say this prayer. Upon the authority of your word, I have given, and it shall be given unto me. Press down, shaking together, running over. I am a tither, and I give my offerings. I bring them to your storehouse. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked, the curse is broken, and I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises. Bills paid off, debts demolished, and royalties received. My whole family saved, serving God in perfect health and abundance, walking in divine favor and blessing. I bless going in, and I bless going out, and all I do will prosper. In Jesus' name, in the church that name, amen. Come on again and praise the Lord for coming over here. Yes. Nice.
When it's time for a lady chick to hatch out, Brother David, they don't the day just doesn't fall apart. But they have to decide. I'm coming out. And they begin to peck at that shell. They begin to peck at it, Brother Jerry, till they get a hole in it a little bit. Maybe get the tips of their feet out just a little bit, begin to wander it around a little bit more. And Sister Maria, they just keep pecking and keep pecking and keep pecking until they get a wing out. Now, there's a spirit in here. Don't quit. Don't stop pecking at that shell. Today. I'm not guessing. I'm not speaking speculatively. I'm telling you, there is a breakthrough here today. But you're going to have to break. Service that song. 
song just began to roll and roll and roll in my mind, Brother David. He paid it all. He paid it all on Mount Calvary. And I want to tell you, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not being critical. But I want to tell you, he paid for a whole lot more than we're getting. And he paid for a whole, 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 whole lot more than some of us are getting. So I would, under the authority and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, say, well, I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't chew, and I don't go with the girls that do. That ain't the breakthrough that's in the house. That ain't nothing for the Lord. I said, that ain't nothing for the Lord. I got a sermon to preach today. Brother Cody, I've been preaching for this day for about six weeks. I remember it's pounding in my head, Brother David. The Lord said, your past ain't nothing for me. Will you trust me with your future? Those sins you've committed yesterday are nothing for the Lord. The blood of Jesus has already washed them whiter than snow. Hallelujah. Oh, I drove by this church yesterday. Parking lot was full of pickup trucks. Sister Maria, the house was full of men that came to pray. And I feel such an unction in the Holy Ghost. But Brother Larry, my pastor, my pastor sense is moving right now. And I want you to know you don't need you don't need to keep it messing around in the devil's playhouse no more. That's not the will of God. It's not a word of damnation or condemnation. It's a word of deliverance. When the Lord said Lazarus come forth he was the only one in the whole place that believed he was coming forth but somewhere deep in the recesses of a tomb brother David something began to happen and Lazarus life began to come back into his body he started making his way out wrapped up said the most powerful words. See, death can't, it has no choice but to leave when the Lord says go, but he was still bound up. Brother Walter, the Lord spoke the words and said, loose him and let him go. That spirit's in the house today. Come on. You realize that when the angel stood over top of Peter in that jail cell and that rascal was snoring, he was already set free. Yeah. But you know what the angel had to do? He had to slap him on the side and say, get up! Get up. Let's go! <laughs> the little chick is pecking at the egg. Because they weren't created to stay inside. But they were created to come out. Jerry, up with water because it don't come out 
too easy until it soaks. And the Lord spoke to me and said, my people need to learn to soak in my presence. So right now we feel like there's there's an impatience right now, Brother David. It's in the house. Like we need you to go ahead and preach. Sometimes we need to just soak. Because there's some stuff the Lord's got to do a little work on us. And if we just go ahead and preach, then we're just like sit back and stay there. But the Holy Ghost wants to change you, ladies and gentlemen. He's not in the business of making people feel good. He's in the business of changing folks. The Bible's full of it. Think about it. It's full of it. The woman with the issue of blood. Sister Maria, she was already violating the law by even being in a crowd. But then Sister Leanne, she said, she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Sister Maria, she really had no reason to think that. She didn't have nothing left. So what did she do, ladies and gentlemen? She started pecking at the shell. And made her way through the crowd. Clawing and scratching. There was no doubt in my mind that she got knocked down. But she had her mind made up, if I can touch the hem of his garment. I'll be made whole. Think about it, Brother Terrence. Brother David, the book says she didn't hardly have nothing left. She was out of gas. She was out of gas. You understand, this gal has been bleeding for 12 years. Strength is gone from her body. I'm, I'm ministering right now to some people whose strength is gone. There's a reason why the Lord said my grace is sufficient for you. Because my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Amen. When she touched the hem of his garment, the Bible says, Thank you for following the Holy Ghost, son. But you said it. You don't have to step out. But if you don't step out, you're going to have to fight a battle first. But when you step out, your problems can't go with you. Because you see, you're stepping out on your way to Jesus. And the Bible says straightway that fact of blood dried up within her. And she was made whole in that plague. Bartimaeus set on the road to the mass of Jericho Road. Oh, I wish the Spirit would invade this house right now. He couldn't see, Brother Larry. He couldn't see nothing. He couldn't see nothing. But he heard. Yeah. Somebody said, Jesus is coming. Yeah. Oh, is it that Jesus? Oh, it's that Jesus. And he hollered out, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. And the crowd said, Shh. That spirit's here today, too. Yeah. Right. Can't walk it over. Get right, Brother Jerry. That spirit that says, let's just hush down and get on with ourselves, it's here today, too. But you don't understand, Jesus is here. Yeah. Yeah. And I need him. Yeah. And over the throne of people say, shh, don't bother him, shh, don't bother him. The Bible said he cried loud. I wish that spirit would invade this house right now. I wish that spirit would invade this place right now. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And the Bible says Jesus stood still. He said, come here to the blind man. Bible said he rose, cast off his garment. Yeah. He took a step for the trip. 
that he cast off his garment. And you know what that garment was? That garment identified him as a blind beggar. But he was on his way to Jesus. Yeah. And when people get to Jesus, uh, they don't leave like they can. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
What about it? I can't do nothing about it but pray. Try to cover up my face a little bit. Don't even know if that really works or not. Just doing the best I can. But I do know I can't afford to pass Jesus by one more time. So, oh, here we go to get spooky now. That's not it. No, there's not even a spooky spirit in here today. I felt it before. But I want to tell you there's a beckoning spirit in this house today. There's a spirit of perseverance that's needed to rise up in this house today. Won't you soak in His presence a little bit? Let God change you. Come on now. Come on now. Are you tired of laying your head down at night? Not knowing? Are you tired of watching other people be blessed and you not getting it? Won't you step in? Step in. Step out of where you are and step into the presence of the Lord. Come on, everybody needs to be praying. Everybody needs to be praying in this house right now. Everybody, everybody, press, press, press.
when all of us guys get together, and I love it. I'm, I thank God for each and every one of them. It's a great time. 6.30 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. The church cleaning schedule this week is team number eight. Sister Maria, Sister Kelly, and Brother Cody Pike. Recovery class is every Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Don't forget to bring coats for your foster children. They are due by January the 15th. If you don't know where to take them and you're here by yourself, you take them back to Sister Barker's old classroom and Sister, uh, Sister Keen and all of them that, that had that little classroom back there. All to the left when you go to the door. Can't miss it. There's a table full of them, so be sure to put them in there. Youth Congress 2021. Don't forget to be saving money for the trip. All of you that wanted to go, I believe you already talked to Brother Richard and Sister Meredith. If there's any new people, you need to let them know ASAP. But it's going to be 2021 something that I believe is going to be a mighty change. You thank God for it. Renewed Marriage Retreat is February the 11th to 12th in Branson. Please let Pastor know by Wednesday if you are wanting to go. If you have any other announcements that you can think of or any birthdays or anniversaries in the house this morning. About to have a birthday or anniversary. We got some birthday stuff coming. This is your brother Johnny's birthday. We got a whole slew of people. He'd be taking a dip, but I did. I'm going to need two hands to hold this thing up. I'm not a laugh Amen. God bless you. That's somebody you love. It's good to have each and every one of you in the house of the Lord. 